extreme low income to help other people, to help other people who are living that way to teach them. My videos are about teaching whether I'm actually speaking, teaching, or doing teaching. It's all about showing with all of you how you can do things in your life. Well, you never know. We may live in a time, while I'm still on YouTube, when your plumbing is broke and you have no one to fix it. Or how do you work with a sewer system that doesn't work right? Or a plumbing, what do you do with gray water? You know, what happens if you can't afford new washing machines or you can't afford other things? Or your electricity goes down? That's what my channel's about. You see, my channel is strategically created to help people who either they live like I do or they may have to live like I do. That in life, sometimes you have to go with bare bones budgeting and you have to live in bare bones and you have to experience that. I have a direction on my channel and I'm not gonna say it's a new direction because it's not a new direction because ever since day one, my channel was all about saving money and living low income and living a life that's different than what a lot of people live. I live in a 1963 mobile home. I love my mobile home. If I was asked to have a new house, a townhouse in town, or live in my mobile home, I would still live in my 1963 mobile home because I love my lifestyle. I like hauling water out. It gives me great satisfaction it has produced in me such better health because I am working, using my muscles. I know I will be getting older <laughs> and I know that will come with its own set of issues. And in time, all of those issues in our home will be fixed. I know it's hard to understand happiness in severe situations that people would see. But see, I'm not about pity. I don't want pity because that's not what my channel's about. My channel is about showing you compassion because I understand what you're going through and showing with you encouragement because I'm choosing to live this way and I'm choosing this. I'm not forced to live in a home that's broken and I want that to be clear. I'm choosing that because I'm choosing to show with all of you a different way of living. Yes, there's times where there's some tears because you have a bad day and there's always things that are broken. Sure, I, I live a real life. There are times when it's bad and you know, you think, oh, I have to do this or I have to do that. But my channel is a mission channel. My mission field is literally my backyard, my front yard, filming it for all of you. This is my mission field. This is where I'm called to be. If I would have a new house, then I wouldn't have this mission field. I hope you understand that. If I had a new house, if I had new things, then this would not be my mission field. And I feel right now, my mission field is here because I do believe in the world that we live in, things will get much worse. I don't know when, I don't know how, I kind of know why, <laughs> but that's not the point of my channel. My point of my channel isn't about the apocalypse or about revelations or about any of that. My channel is about showing with you every morning. Hi, Tomstead Tessie, coming home. You're coming home. You're coming home every day. On this channel, this is my main channel. This is my heart. My heart is here. All videos will be about low income living, how to live in, with me it's mobile home life, how to live, what do I do each day, how do I have a budget, how do I help you in that area. That's what every video is going to be about. My second video is my soul. That's where you're going to hear my heart to hearts and you're going to hear me talk about things in my soul and personal videos that are not about my lifestyle or about saving money or anything like that. I have 
two mission fields, this mission field and my other channel mission field. And there's a wide group of audience on this channel and there's a group of audience on that channel. I always loved the mission field. Mission has always been in my heart. And to be a missionary that takes on a vast wide subject line, whether you're living in a third world country, whether you're dealing with third world issues at your own home, whether you're living in different extreme situations, this is my mission field. And I gladly accept it. This has given me such a goal and a drive and a new lease on life that I wouldn't want it any other way. I wouldn't want it. Here in the United States, we know prosperity. In general, we do know prosperity. Yes, there are places in the United States that are very, very poverty stricken. But compared to third world countries, we know prosperity. But you see, all of a sudden, the elite and the rich are here. The middle class is starting to go way down here. So we have the elites and then whoo, the slide down the slide to the poverty. Middle class is really right there. And I'm right here. I'm right here for everybody. I'm right here. And if I can share to the middle class people who are starting to see a decline in all of their finances and the price of things, if they're starting to feel the pinch and they realize they got to do some things, here I am. Am I the most frugal person on YouTube? Absolutely not. Nope. I am not the most frugal. Do I live in certain aspects of my home life that is extreme compared to even people with poverty? Yes, I do. Because I live with some situations in my home that would be considered poverty. So I have all aspects of it. I have the poverty part of it where there are certain things in my life, certain things that you see me do that would be considered poverty. And then I have a lot of things that it would be considered low income, low budget, middle class going down to low budget. <laughs> I could sit at a desk and just tell you statistics and, and you know read newspapers and tell you this and this and this is happening, but that's not how you're gonna learn. When I was thrown deep into this lifestyle, I was thrown deep into this lifestyle because I had to. I had no choice. At that time in my life, I had no choice. I didn't know anything about gray water. I didn't know anything about living without plumbing, certain plumbing issues. I didn't know anything about making homemade soap, you know, making lye soap, about all of these things. I didn't know about these things. So I searched on YouTube to try to find somebody who lived like this. And I found a channel where the woman was heating her water because she had no hot water and I had no hot water. And all of a sudden, I was helped by watching her and seeing her do it. Somebody sitting at a desk saying, 60% of all Americans have to do this. That didn't help me. I need a tangible. Right now, what do I do to winterize my old mobile home? What do I need to do right now? You know, I don't have no hot water. Right now, my gas stove doesn't work. The electric part of it doesn't work. I didn't know to, to have a lighter and turn the gas on and have the lighter there. I didn't know any of that. <laughs> oh, that was 12 years ago. And so this is what my channel is about. If you want to learn to save money, some ways won't be extreme. They'll just be everyday saving money. While other things may be really, really like whoo, off the wall, but it works. Then you welcome to my channel. Hi everybody, I'm Homestead Tessie, and I live a life that's very much outside the box. And I welcome you to my channel. And I hope that you welcome me into your hearts. Every year I have a word. My word is a word where I want to dedicate my year and what I want to express to all of you. Some years my words were prepare, and the whole year was all about preparing for many different things that come our way. One year, it was a year of peace. 
And that was after my parents died. I did a whole year of trying to reflect peace in my life and share it with all of you. One word was joy. And I wondered what I was going to do this year. I really prayed about it and I sought the Lord and he answered my prayers. The first thing I saw when the scripture I read was exhortation. And exhortation means encouragement. And I thought that was going to be my word. Yes, I'm an encourager. I'm going to encourage people. This is the year of encouragement. And I told my husband that I'm thinking of a word. And within seconds, he came up with a word. So I'm having two of them. Encouragement is going to be my first word. Encouragement. But the main focus is going to be compassion. Compassion is the word I'm going to be sharing in my videos. Compassion in life. And when life gets you and knocks you down, to be encouraged and to have compassion for other people. I've always been a very sensitive child. I've always been a child that was full of compassion. But you see, I didn't grow up that way. Compassion was not something that I was accustomed to up until I started YouTube, basically. I didn't feel compassion of others. I was forced and driven to do what has to be done and not have compassion about it. Growing up as a child, my mom didn't have a whole lot of compassion. That just was not her quality. That was not her character trait. We all have gifts. Mine is gift of exhortation, and mine is the gift of compassion. My mother's was not that gift. My mother had many gifts that the Lord gave her, but compassion wasn't one of her main gifts. So whenever I was tired or hurt or things like that, I was taught to just brush it off and let it go and keep working. But for me, I was a very sensitive child. And so I was very misunderstood as a child. Being adopted, I wasn't anything like my siblings or my parents because I had different traits. Then I was never understood properly. And when I was first married, I grew into another home that compassion really wasn't one of their strong features. They were the type of people who you work, you don't worry about it, you get it done no matter what. I remember within a day of having given birth to my children, I was back at working very hard again. I didn't know what it was like to rest and to give, have compassion of others. And so I was very hard on myself through my years. And then I came on YouTube and I saw floods of people that had compassion. Compassion for me, compassion for my happiness, compassion when I was sad. They took pity on the things that I was doing, even though pity is not what I'm about. I am all about showing you how to do things thinking outside the box, because that's how I was taught. And that's how I had to live my life as a young married woman. I had to learn to work around issues that I had to deal with. And I thank you guys so much because there's a lot of you who are following me on this journey and are spending your life with mine. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye, everybody.